All right, I got a few more details to show you about the Tempest here. I'll take the air cleaner off. So there's the inside. The fuel system is um, dash eight line coming in this way to the carburetor and it comes around this bend and it goes to this regulator that's been converted to be a bypass regulator and this is set at six pounds and it comes down this side here and returns back to the fuel tank so everything on this side on the carburetor side of the regulator has six pounds of fuel pressure in it at all times and there's two stages on the holly pump that's in the back it's one of the holly dominator pumps it's a 1200 dominator that um, i can run either stage or i can run them both together but i just keep the second stage as a backup in case something goes wrong because this car lives on nothing but an electric fuel pump um carburetors uh barry grant deal one of the old barry grants from when barry grant was making these himself before he sold out the demon or whoever he worked with um this thing flows, I don't know, 870, 900 CFM. Um, it's a really nice carburetor. Everything's set up really good in it. I've been through the idle air blades and the high speed air blades and the idle fuel restriction. There's even uh, a little jet in the T slot to make it all work. But this thing runs a 14.2 on the air fuel meter, just straight through the power band, unless you're on it hard and then it drops down to the mid to high 12 so I'm real happy with the fuel curve for a four barrel um, the motor's got Edelbrock aluminum heads on it been worked on a little bit um, the manifold is a uh, Edelbrock air gap I machined it down a half inch so I had room to put a half inch spacer back in on it um, the height's the same but I like having a spacer this is Florida it's ungodly fucking hot and humid and keeping the carburetor cool is just the key with the return line on the fuel you can just actually feel the cold on the carburetor it stays so nice and cool um, solid lifter it's a comp grind that we came up with it's got about 245 48 degrees of duration in it and um, the lift is 628 so this it works good it's a lot like the old 288 AR comp grind that I like distributors um, basic GM HEI with an MSD coil in it I've been through the curve quite a bit to make it work um, running vacuum advance on it and the key to making all of this work on high test pump gas is to run a lot of advance at idle so the distributor set up with 17 degrees initial but then it pulls in another 13 degrees of vacuum to give you 30 degrees at idle um, and it'll hold that until you get into the motor enough to drop the vacuum down below about 14 inches so with a big block that runs at 18 20 inches of vacuum all the time um, the vacuum advance is working and I'm pulling um, about 35 degrees plus 13 so 48 degrees um, on the highway and then when you get on it it drops right out down to 35 degrees the short block is basically all Chevy forged parts except for the pistons some um, pistons have been replaced they're diamond pistons the original Chevy 502 big blocks ran some weird metric pip piston ring package that was small rings less friction but they burned a lot of oil and I went through a couple of sets of those before I figured it out on this motor and finally bored it 30 over that makes it actually a 509 and um, with the Hellfire top rings and a Napier second ring on it that really scrapes the cylinder nicely this thing runs good doesn't burn much oil at all and the